gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. And welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at six flavors that was sent on to me by Doomsday Gourmet, which you can find at Doomsday slash or dash gourmet.com. So you know how we roll, peeps. We're going to go take a look at the website real quick. It's a price and information. Then we're going to come back here and have ourselves a big, big vape session. So let's have a quick two, and we'll be on our way. And welcome to the brief online tutorial for Doomsday Gourmet E-Liquid. Let's go to their main website. You can find Doomsday Gourmet at Doomsday slash Gourmet. I'll have it on the screen here. Now, this is their main web page. Before we get going into price and information, I just wanted to show that they do carry FU Hattons here. As a matter of fact, the FU Hattons are actually customized to where it has the Doomsday Gourmet logos on them. And you can get those along with a free 30ml bottle of Doomsday Gourmet e-liquid. For $74.99. Now, the regular lineup, they have several different flavors to choose from. Which their 15 mil bottles start out at $12.50. Their 30 mil bottles are $23.99. The 120 mil bottle is 60, and they offer a 480 mil dripper bottle for $160 for when all hell breaks loose. <laughs> now you can get that in Nick strengths of 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18. However, if you want to customize your Nick to say 1.5 milligrams. They can do it with an with an additional extra dollar. Now they do also offer a drippers line, which is called the Four Horsemen. And I do believe the buying price on these are going to be the same as their standard line. Yes, yes, yes. The pricing is exactly the same. And the Nick strengths are the same as well. And that'll do it for the brief online tutorial for Doomsday Gourmet e -Liquid. Now, back to the review. Before I get started, I must point out I did receive these free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the label. You can see here on the one side it has a born on date. Then they have the name of the juice maker, I do believe. And it's a 15 mil bottle, 6 milligram nick. These are all a 2080 PGVG. And there's the name of the, the company, Doomsday Gourmet. Really cool logo, the gas mask. And uh, this is Hollow Berry. And then on the side there, they've got the ingredients 
And of course, the warning sales to minors is prohibited. Store in a cool, dry, dark place. I swear, you know you're getting older when you can't see shit. You know, suffer from CSS. <laughs> so I have that loaded up in my uh, S-Body X-Rock, which is dual microcoiled to, uh, what we got, the 0.5 ohms. And I have it on my iSig version 9. That's a 50 watt box of mine. We'll be firing this at 50 watts. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Here's the thing. I've seen this talked about online. It's Hollowberry. And there's two different versions of it. I have both of them here. I have the red label, the blue label. Right now we own a red label. Blue label is going to come last. Now, the thing about this is, is that people keep talking about how the red label tastes like Captain Crunch Berries. No. No, people. I'm sorry, you're sadly mistaken. I am, by all rights, a custard entrepreneur, okay? Or, wait, not entrepreneur, enthusiast is the key word here. Uh, I've vaped many of custards from all across the world, and I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, this is a custard base vape. It has strawberries in it, which is dynamite. Flame profile on this one, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Really good stuff, all day vape worthy, hell yes. Throat hit, I'm going to give a 6 out of 10, that's my mild. Vapor production, 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of citrus suicide. Which I have loaded up in my I go L. Yep, busting out the retro gear here. Uh, I have it mega microcoiled to 1.2 ohms. And I have that on my uh, Drizzit mod. It's a one of a kind mod by a Polish mod maker. We're going to be firing this, hopefully, at. Uh, a little over five volts. Is she gonna work? She was working. There we go. Hmm. Very, very citrusy. Very citrusy. It's almost like, uh, what's the name of that candy? You can get it, oh, Mike and Ike's, yes. With, with a bit more lemon to it. Um, yeah, this is good. I'm going to give the flavor profile on this 9 out of 10. Throat hit, I'm going to give it my mild, which is a 6 out of 10. Big production, 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of. Next up is Last Call. Yeah, I really dig the logo on this. Uh, I have that loaded up in my, my, my what I call Stealth Vaping Perfected, which is this. The Smoke. RDA, which is a single microcoiled to uh, 1.2 ohms. And I have that on my E Leaf eye stick, which will be firing at 20 watts. Hmm. Now, this one here tastes a bit like it's got, uh, ooh, that Kahlua 
that uh, Bailey's Kahlua. Do you know there's something else in here too? There it is. Hazelnut and rum. Mmm. Okay, so I'm gonna give the the the, uh, the 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 profile on this one. Uh, I'm gonna give this one seven out of ten. All day vape worthy. Well, if it had a bit more rum to it, to me, then it would be all day vape worthy. But you know, this here is the kind of vape you go to to break up the monotony. Um, throat hit six out of ten. And of course, my vapor production, 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. Okay, so we have Hollow Custard here. Hollow Custard. Which they've renamed to Cream de la Corpse. Which I had loaded up in my Crown RDA. Which is a uh, dual microcoiled to 1.3 ohms, and I have that on top of my Bobo. <laughs> Bobo's up, people. Bobo's up. Now, this is not just a custard. No, no, no. This has a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So let's break it down. We got custard, then we got brown sugar. Caramel, and just a touch of cinnamon. <clears throat> mm, boy. Now, flavor profile on this, I gotta go with a 10 out of 10. This is good. Now, quite honestly, the only thing they could do to improve this anymore is to add a splash of butterscotch to it and then that would be insanely killer. It would be a 10 plus 10. <coughs> so, throat hit on this it's a 6 out of 10. It's a mild. And uh, vapor production, 9 out of 10. Consistency and plenty of it. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. I <laughs> just I love to play on words here. <clears throat> now I have a pack of loops loaded up in my Igo M, which has been beat to all helling on. And that's on my Miranda mod. Now the Igo M is dual microcoiled to about point, uh, 0.47 ohms. <clears throat> Let's have a beat. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> Normally, I don't like green apple type vapes, but that's what this is, green apple. But, I'll be damned if it's kicking me like a green apple would, okay? Um, another vape here. It's almost like they took and they've added some sort of sweetener to this to, to, to kind of get rid of that sour. But what? I can be, I'll be damned if I can figure out what it is.
Maybe it's a touch of peach. Regardless. Uh, all day vape worthy? I'm going to say yes. Now, flavor profile on this, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Very semi enjoyable. Um, throat, throat hit. I'm gonna give. I'm actually gonna give this one a five out of ten. It's not. <clears throat> it's it's like it's it's better than mild, you know. And the, the lower the throat hit to me is the, is better because I've always been a big flavor chaser. Um, so yeah, five out of ten for the throat hit. And then vapor production. Nine out of ten, because this is seeing plenty of it. And just like I promised, beginning of the vapor fest here, uh, Halloberry, the blue label, <coughs> which I have loaded up in my Aqua Two, and I have that. Uh, what is this? This is dual micro cold to about 0.5 ohms, and I have that on my Kelt mod. <clears throat> okay, so just like before with the uh, hollow berry red. <coughs> This is another custer. And instead of it being strawberries like the red label was, this one here is blueberries. Um, matter of fact, I can actually taste the blueberries better in this than I could the strawberries in the red label. <clears throat> so flavor profile on this, I'm going to give this one a 10 plus 10. Uh, All they vape worthy? Hell yeah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's a custard. <laughs> Let's have another quick two. All right. Throw it hit. I'm gonna give this mild, which is six out of ten in vape production. I give that a uh, yeah, I give it a nine out of ten for consistency and plenty of it. So there you have it, my peeps. That's six from Doomsday Dash Gourmet. Yeah, it's Doomsday Dash Gourmet.com. <clears throat> you can also find them on our Facebook. Big shout out to the fine folks at Doomsday Gourmet. Thank you for sending these on to me. Such a very nice treat, especially with the three different custards. I, I kind of think you guys might have been trying to throw me for a loop on the two hollow berries, though, you know. Because the uh, first time I vaped both of them, I was kind of like, now oh, wait a minute. You know, people swear up and down that these are supposed to be a crunch berry, but it doesn't taste anything like a crunch berry. So, that's how come I had to uh, kind of vape on these a little bit more than the rest of them to figure it out, so... Hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and peepettes, happy baking.